it's, I, I, it's one of those things. Grief doesn't have a time scale, does it? So it can come at any point in your life. You might think you're coping well with it and then all of a sudden, bang, it hits you right in the face. And I agree with you, men should have more people to talk to, but also we all need to accept that everyone's different and you're gonna find your own path. And just because someone else is dealing with it one way doesn't mean you have to deal with it also, the same. Also, I think it, it showed, Kate, didn't it, that he's, he's dealing with it all the time, every day. So you can't park it, really, can you? It's just, it's an ongoing thing. And it was, you know, you know Jeff as well. He, he's very protective, isn't he, of those boys? That's his being yeah, his he whole seems kind of reason. Private, guarded person, which I think is a shame. Generally, with men, I don't know why they feel they have to hold back. Mm. And I think it's nice to see a man show their emotion mm. and cry and talk about things. But not many men do. I think they should do. Mm. But us women, we do. We talk about everything in detail. But men, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they're embarrassed or, you know, sometimes mm. I think if they let it off, you know, they'd feel mm. a lot better. Well, yeah, Jeff. Well, listen, love to you, love to the boys, and, and thank you for your lovely message. And, you know, that's what we try and do here on the show. That's our aim, to start a conversation. Um, and hopefully, uh, Jeff can now deal with his own grief, which is what we were talking to him about yesterday, not just that of his boys. Um, and as you know, as we've said, it's always good to talk. We've put helplines on our website for anyone looking for support. So if you are struggling out there, please don't be afraid to open up like Jeff did. Just talk to somebody.